Hello and welcome to the Spartan Channel. I'm your host Jack Hanlon and on today's episode we will be taking a look at the latest stories from around the world, beginning with an update on the Britain's decision to leave the EU. So, Brexit is a topic that has gripped Britain and the wider world recently as the UK voted to leave the European Union. However, since the Brexit vote was cast, it has been unclear as to when exactly the nation would leave the EU. As of last week, Prime Minister Theresa May triggered the two-year exit process by handing an official letter to the EU President Donald Tusk. A sombre-looking Mr Tusk stated that this was not a happy day for the EU, as Britain entered into a point of no return. A lot of controversy has surrounded the nation's decision to leave the Union from early on. However, this latest political move symbolises that we will definitely see Brexit take place in the near future. A South Korean cargo ship with 24 people on board vanished in the South Atlantic yesterday. Alarms were raised on Friday when sailors on board sent a text stating that the ship was taking on water. It was at this time that the Uruguayan Navy began to search for the ship. Two Filipino survivors have been recovered by a commercial ship aiding with the rescue. They were found floating alone on a life raft. The Uruguayan Navy will continue to investigate the disappearance of the 312 metre long cargo ship and the whereabouts of the remaining 22 sailors. In other news, Bob Dylan has finally accepted his Nobel Prize for Literature. The singer previously refused to give a Nobel lecture when receiving the award, which is a traditional condition when collecting the $900,000 prize money. Three months after the award ceremony, Dylan has now accepted his award in Stockholm before performing at a scheduled concert in the city. His acceptance lec lecture was done away from the media and in a private setting. However, a taped version of the lecture must be released before June or else Dylan's prize money will be returned. That's all we have time for today at Spartan Channel's World News. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to Spartan Channel. I'm Destiny Soto and I'm your host for the show. This show features local news, world news, music, and entertainment designed for a college audience. Today I'm going to be talking about what is happening in Rockland County. It's that time of the year where you can expect a lot of local events, weather, and news reports. Spring is here, which means school is almost out and the weather is getting better, just in time for the wonderful events that are planned. A lot of fun things are in store for the county for Cinco de Mayo and much more. Cinco de Mayo is almost here and you can expect lots of fun things happening. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday in honor of the Mexican Army's victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla during the Mexico-Franco War. It has turned into a celebration of culture and heritage in the U.S. Though it isn't like Tulum or Cancun, everyone here still gets in the spirit and celebrates. You can turn anywhere in the area to find some traditional food, food, a good market. <laughs> <laughs> There's Casa de Sol in Nyack, did I get caught? And Tequila Sala Limon in Piermont in New City for your lovely cuisine, music, and drinks, and a nice sombrero. That's all the time we have for today. I'm your host, Destiny. Thanks for watching this segment of Spartan Channel, and stay tuned for the following segment.